Hello, welcome to Just Prime. And as part of this video, we are going to see one of the useful Eclipse plugin called Sonar Dent. And um, so we are going to see some of the points like why we need this Sonar Dent plugin, how we are going to use it, how to configure it in Eclipse, and also we are going to see one of the practical example how to use this plugin with one of the project which is available in our Eclipse, and we can see all the necessary use cases of this plugin. So before uh, jumping into installation or configuration part, just let me give some a brief introduction about this plugin. So basically the SonarLint plugin is useful for a static code analysis like to find out the bugs what we have written in the code at the development stage and, uh, and also it will give you like how to fix these kind of bugs like suggestions you will get it from the SonarLint plugin. And the next point is basically the SonarLint plugin will support various languages like Java, PHP, Python Eclipse as well as it will support various IDs like IntelliJ, Eclipse, Visual Studio, VS Code so it will support various languages as well as various um, IDEs okay this is about a brief introduction uh, regarding a SonarLint plugin so now let's jump into installation or configuration part into Eclipse so basically I'm trying to open my Eclipse which is available in my machine so if you don't have Eclipse or JDK you have to install it so this is the prerequisite of this plugin and you can to install the Eclipse and Java so you can follow my previous videos so you will get the um, necessary steps okay so now let me open my Eclipse let me click again so basically I'm using Eclipse version is 2020 project and version is 4.1.5 so this is my Eclipse version and Java I'm using 13 version JDK 13 version so you can use accordingly as for your Eclipse <coughs> yeah so I have opened my Eclipse if you see Eclipse right so you can able to find one of the menu called help the last menu so you can click on this help menu and if you come down a little bit bottom you can able to see there is one of the option called Eclipse marketplace you can click on this one yeah it's just trying to get the latest updates yeah <coughs> so we have a uh, search panel over here search input so you can give here sonar and click on search Yes, so we can able to see there is a first option called SonarLint and which is the version 5.1.1 and this is the latest version which is available when I am trying to create this video. So to install this plugin basically we have an install option here and we can see some of the info here like, like I said previously it will support various languages like Java, JavaScript, PHP and HTML. Uh, there is more information which is available and we can uh, read this information it will be very useful okay so now let go for installation steps you just to install this plugin into your eclipse you just need to click on the install then it will try to install the plugin into your eclipse yes so accept the terms and conditions and click on finish so now it is trying to install the plugin yes now the installation plugin installation or download part is completed to reflect these changes into your Eclipse, you have to restart your Eclipse. So that's what this pop-up says. I'm just going for restart now. My Eclipse is coming up now. Yes, my Eclipse is up now. Yep. So if you see my Eclipse route, I have I have already configured some of the projects which is available in my Eclipse. Okay, so let me take one of the simple project what I created for this uh, uh, sonar lint. So if you see right, so there is a project is available here sonar test. So this one I have already created and let me open this project and we have some of the I mean the files, Java files. I'm just opening one of the Java file which is available under sonar test project. <coughs> if you see here right, so in this uh, 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 like 
like a, <coughs> a java file so sonar already suggesting some of the inputs say here we can see here right so um, it's saying so you have to complete this to do comment right and similarly if you see here sysout it's saying we should not use sysout you have to use a logger it's saying you have to uh, clean up this sysout so basically when i'm trying to open this eclipse by default the sonar is trying to scan the project right so that means sonar is started working so this is one way you can verify it or you can verify the sonar installation process very easily with the help of so windows show you you can go here so you can able to find here a sonar a menu option sonar kit yes so this is the sonar alert menu option if you can able to find this one under windows uh, show view then it means your plugin got installed successfully so this is one way you can install it verify it or you can open any of the java files and if you see this kind of uh, warnings so that means your sonar uh, plugin got installed properly and start working right so this is one way you can verify the plugin and if you see um, the another step I like I said right and I open my eclipse eclipse by default then it started scanning the project right so how it happened by default right so you just click right click on the project properties and if you see here sonar lint right so there is a sonar lint option is available so by default this is checked for all the projects so that means whenever you are trying to open the eclipse so immediately it start running the uh, scanning the your projects and it's trying to generate the uh, hints or errors notification so so if you don't want to scan automatically so you can uncheck this one so this is one of the way you can stop executing the sonar lint on your projects okay this is the way we can verify and we can do the some of the default uh, configurations <coughs> okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, run the sonar lint scan manually and i want to see the reports or how it got generated we are going to see some of the fixes right Okay, before um, running the uh, sonar or analyze, so if you see here, right, so we have a console here, there is a console just below over here. So we can see here a sonar lint console, you can enable this one. So you can clean all those things, this previous scanned one. So you just come here and you can select sonar uh, lint console. So now we can see here sonar lint console okay now i'm going to rescan this project or scan this project sonar test i'm going to see the sonar bugs so how you going to rescan it manually you right click on the project you come down so here you can even see there is an option called sonar lint and it will use some of the menus and we can select here analyze and say here okay so if you see here right in the console it is trying to display the uh, some of the useful information or log so basically uh, so how it is scanning and what kind of uh, uh, files it is trying to use it so what java it is using so all those things some of the useful information uh, it is trying to display here and what are the files it is trying to scan it right so not made test so this is our file so that kind of useful information we can see in this console okay and now immediately console tab we can find there is another menu called sonar lint report so this is useful for us right if you see here right so we have some of the uh, bugs it is a notice and it got identified and it's given the file name all those things so if you see here right so it's noted it's identified some of the bugs the first bug we are going to see here the second one so it is saying uh, replace this use of system out or sys error by logger so it's saying um, when, I, when you click this particular line right it will point to the corresponding line of the eclipse so it's saying we should not use any source instead of that we have to use a logger right so this is the error so how to fix this one i'm going to replace this logger this is sort with the logger so you just replace this so 
so I fixed this sysout or I replaced this sysout with the logger okay so how we are going to rescan it and how we are going to remove I mean how to verify this fix right so it's very easy you just right click so so before going to the fix right so if you want to know how to fix this one right it's very easy you just right click on the um, effect or bug so you can come down here so it will display the standard uh, some of the description of the uh, issue what it identified and it will give the fix as well so this is the issue this source we should not use and the solution it is suggesting you can use a logger so i did save the instead of i just replace the sysout with logger.info right so now come back here so now, right. so now this issue got fixed so i'm going to i want to rescan the project so that way i can verify my fix is working or not so analyze again back yes yes if you see right in the latest in the latest report that that issue got removed so now this line is not pointing any issues right so now we will go back to another issue is saying that uh, complete the task also stated to this to do comment so basically there is a to do comment indicate that there should be some more uh, things to do like that so that's what to do comment says right so right now i'm thinking here yeah, i no need to do anything so i'm going to remove this uh, to do comment so before removing the to do comment if you want to know the solution uh, how to do it exactly right click and go to role description so it will give some of the example and how to fix it so basically we have to remove the to do comment so that's what uh, the a solution suggested solution is staying in the description so i'm going to remove this one save it now come back here and again scan the project click ok so go for a latest sonar lead report we can see here now only one bug is left so how we are going to fix this one it's saying here move this file into a named package if you see this project right so i have not declared any project it's in default uh, package it's in src main right src main java so this is what it's suggesting we have to use some default uh, we have to use some package you cannot write the files just like that directly in main package so that's what so this is the issue if you want to see the description full description you can come here according to so it is saying the default unnamed package should not be used so how we are going to fix it to fix this uh, issue i'm going to create a a default one of the package so this is the com.test package i have created so now i'm going to move this file into here so this file is moved i'm going to delete this file now so now this file is under a com.test package so how I'm, how I'm going to verify this fix is working or not so yes it's rescanned and the if it got removed or bug got removed from this uh, sonar lint report so this is the way you can configure the sonar lint plugin and you, you can scan your projects and you can able to see the sonar lint report and uh, you can verify the defect i mean uh, the sonar lint issues fixes and all yeah i think that's all about this video if you like the video you can click the like button and Subscribe to channel for more subsequent updates and thank you.